All right, so now we're gonna go through the different demos uh, that are available. So we already looked at the first uh, one. The LED off here will actually turn off the LEDs. Uh, some people actually don't like them, find them too bright. I'll use the touch paint. So that's the one from Adafruit. I just ported it to my code. Uh, it's not directly compatible because you have to select uh, the screen uh, every time you talk to it uh, with a chip select and the Adafruit uh, code does not support doing that via uh, an IO expander. But otherwise the rest works uh, about right. Of course the library was actually modified quite a bit uh, by uh, me, no dev on GitHub who works for Expressive and made the library a lot more quick uh, than it used to be. Uh, the original library uh, over SPI was very slow and this one is actually quite fast. So that's just a basic demo. Uh, again, in any demo, you can use A to clear and B to get back to the main screen. So joystick is just really a joystick test. Uh, with this one, I can move the dot and it shows where it goes. It's not really that interesting, but it's good to show the, the joystick coordinates in the corner and how you can convert them to screen coordinates. That's really the main uh, reason for this demo. All right, I'll get back one level. I'll do a relative. This one is a bit more fun. Uh, you can actually move the dot with the joystick. It's a little bit like an edge sketch, although it's the joystick itself, it's difficult to get proper round diagonals, but hey, well, it's still uh, something. So I'll get back to the main menu. All right, the accelerator one is more fun. I'm gonna select that here. It's now using the accelerator on the board, which I for forgot to mention in um, features. And you can actually draw with it like this. That's basically just a quick demo. All right, I'll get back to the main menu. Uh, other features of the board, by the way, yes, there is a um, temperature sensor and humidity. The temperature is wrong by usually 10 degrees centigrade because it's too close to the chips, I think, and it's just being warmed by the board. So when you boot it, it's good for a short amount of time and then it gets, uh, as the board warms up, then it becomes wrong. There's also a voltage I'm reading here, which is com completely wrong for LiPo. Um, sadly, the analog read on either the chip or the current um, libraries do not work uh, it, the analog read doesn't work very well and gives out garbage values from time to time. It's not, they're not garbage, but they're off by a bit, like this one. So there's no good fix for it now, but maybe later. All right, color selection. So this, col uh, this controls the color of the left LED. So right now I'm gonna put the red the green to almost zero and the blue to max and that gives you purple, right? The other LED is the opposite color. Uh, so everything is, see, green being zero is actually maximum, which is why it's green. So let's uh, get another color, green, blue, and take off the red to zero. Sorry, zero here, there we go. So that gives you that color. Uh, not very visible, but you get the idea. That's a way to move a cursor and control the LEDs. All right, I get back to the main menu here. The rotary encoder, uh, that was definitely a lot of work to uh, to make it work. There's um, a timer. Uh, I used to have a timer interrupt to read it. Now there's actually a pin interrupt, which does the right thing, and it's very precise. I'm using it to also use the scroll feature of the LCD driver at the same time on a bitmap. So the bitmap's not being redrawn, it's just being scrolled by the chip controller. And then when you push the button, it resets to zero just to show the push and release um, like this. Okay, back to the main menu. Those demos are not very exciting. They're the, act the demos from the Adafruit library just to show how quick they are compared to uh, the original, uh, which was very slow. So I'm going to skip some of them because they're kind of not uh, too exciting. Demo sauce, that is the nice one. Um, I found this code um, on a fork of the ILI driver uh, with a Teensy chip and there were some very nice demos which you can see right now. 
Um, so I had to port the primitives used for, uh, by that code to be compatible with the ILI driver. And you now after some work, I'm able to, to run them. Uh, those were never able to run on anything but a TeamZ before. And now they're actually able to run on anything with the screen. So very nice demos. And not only the demos, but the transitions between them are actually quite interesting also. Uh, I think the transitions are even random. So like you can see a transition here. So very cool demos. I can't take credit for writing them. I just did the work to allow them to run. And we also already saw the calibration. And then we're left with two games, which I'm going to show last.